I'm going to give you guys a little bit to introduce yourselves and uh, who you're with and a little two sentence bio. Very quick, I'm Greg Myers with EV Technologies. Um, I got to participate in the usability testing at this conference last year. So it's kind of neat to come back around and talk about it again. Sorry. Hi, my name's uh, AJ Gupta. I'm with SciComm Consulting. Um, we're a consulting training partner and uh, I'm really actively involved in the ASUG stuff. So I was really happy to be part of this. Uh, my name is Andy Roach, I'm with People Services Center, and uh, I was involved in both the CEI to uh, develop the tool, and then also in the usability last year to uh, follow up on that. Great, great. And, and the CEI program, the Customer Engagement Program, is one of the, the three real main programs that we run out of ASUG for benefiting our members. Uh, we have our Influence Council, kind of the core of our program, and that's really uh, limited to a lot of our mem customer members and that's where they get to influence the next releases of the products and solutions that they use. Uh, then we also have the customer connection program where they get to have input and uh, direction on immediate fixes to the immediate needs that they have. Now the customer engagement initiative is very unique in the fact that we, we encourage our partners to get involved. We want them to bring in their customers with them and it's the future. It's the direction that SAP needs to go, wants to go, and it's a great opportunity for you guys to bring in your customers and have them, their needs, it built into the program as the future uh, solutions for them. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yeah. very good, yep. Yeah. So, uh, do you want how did you guys find out about the customer engagement opportunities? Um, I found out through the uh, ASUG network uh, what was coming up. Um, I also uh, knew Redeem from, uh, from a previous thing and he asked me to get involved and I mean, I have a, I have a very strong background in, uh, in enterprise and infrastructure. So I was uh, very much honored to say, hey, I would love to be part of uh, influencing what's coming up. I was recruited as well. I came in kind of through the back door as well. I did a usability test for Redeem uh, two years ago. And uh, through some follow-on discussions, he asked me to join this particular, the CEI that we just completed and uh, help out through there. What, what are the main benefits that you guys are realizing uh, in participating in this with your customers? Oh, sure. Um, I, I guess for me, the biggest thing we're seeing is it gives the cust our customers an opportunity to feel like they have a say in what's going to happen. Yeah. You know, they're, instead of just having a product that SAP is putting out there, we're also providing them an opportunity to have a say in how that product's going to look and act and handle some of the issues that are in it. Yeah, yeah, exactly, I mean, just basically make their life easier. I mean, the customers are the yeah. ones that are dealing with all the struggles and the challenges. And when they provide us the, their feedback, say, hey, I'm, I'm having challenges with this, or I'm having issues with this. Can this not be streamlined, or can this not be improved? Taking that feedback back to the, the CI program and being able to put that as an input is really good. Yeah. The, the BI platform is so flexible, and every customer really deploys it and uses it in a different way. So it's really good to be able to communicate that, those different unique perspectives back to SAP, because it's hard sometimes to see that there's so many different facets of how it's used. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 So how much time did you spend working on it beyond the calls? Um, I, I typically, you know, after the calls were done, I usually probably 20 minutes to half an hour after each call, just kind of refresh myself, what was happening, make notes of what was going on, and be prepared for the next meeting. So that way, while, while everything was still fresh in your mind of what was, what was just presented to you, you can put some input and be ready for the next call so you know what's coming. Mm -hmm. So for me, a lot of the meetings fell where, where I didn't have time to do exactly that immediately after follow up and, and uh, take note and go review the notes, but I would take good notes. And then just at night, since I'm on the road a lot, I'd be sitting in the hotel rather than turn on the TV. I'd just spend 30, 40 minutes at the most mm -hmm. um, reading it. Sometimes it wasn't even that long because we'd just have a discussion and no takeaway at the end of the day, the meeting that week. Um, and we weren't meeting every week either. I mean, it was sometimes once a month, sometimes twice a month. Yeah, yeah. But outside of the meetings, we didn't have to spend a whole lot of time, which is good when you're, you know, you don't have time in your life right. as it is. Because yeah, you're at your customer site, you're doing their stuff, you're doing yeah. real work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you have a perspective on time, efforts, and activities? Yeah. Uh, I mean, again, just just the activities of you know, again, 
what the sessions were entailing and just going through the individual point forums mm -hmm. and just visualizing because a lot of the, especially the CI program, we had to visualize because the screenshots that we had weren't from a working product. It was just visualizations, what the developers gave us. This is what the screen would look like if you click this, you click this. So a lot of the time we had to visualize, okay, this is what this step or workflow would be. And then yeah. we were able to kind of, okay, now I can visualize it in my mind and see what's going on in, and say, so, okay, yeah, this, this looks good or this is right, yeah. And I think that's a great thing you can, uh, you know, expand on the benefits to your customers that, you know, we were talking, like, how do you relate that to them? And, and this program is an opportunity yeah. for you. And we were talking about, can you talk about that a little more? Yeah, I mean, uh, at, at the very beginning, I mean, we would tell customers that this is coming up. Um, because of the non-disclosure agreement, we had to be very careful not share too much information, but we still got information to say, hey look, I understand you guys are having challenges and struggles with this. What, or what things, or what little tweaks, what steps would you like to see improve to make your life easier? Mm -hmm. uh, so they would give us their input, and we would represent the customers at the meetings themselves, and say this is what it is. And then again, provide the feedback back, and say, hey look, this is going, progressing really well. You guys, you know, you guys are going to be extremely happy when you see the next version of the product. This will have what we were talking about, so just keep your fingers crossed. You guys, you'll be happy to see this coming. Yeah, it was, there was a lot of, um, especially because our product was with BI4 and, and it's been out since November of 2011. Of course, we, we were dealing with some of the issues that our CEI was going to address. And it gave us an opportunity to, to in front of the customer, we couldn't tell them what we were doing, but we could simply say, okay, I know this is a pain point, hang on. Yep. Things are improving, and they, you know, they, of course they'd say, well, why, what do you know? And you'd say, I don't know anything. <laughs> I can't tell you. Nothing at all. <laughs> but you could, you, it, it was good in front of the customer because you could then see that pain and, and you could hear how they would want to address it. Mm -hmm. It was you a know. way for you to take that pain back to Exactly, SAP. we'd take exactly. that right back into the CEI and say, hey, you know, I talked to somebody this week and this is how they were thinking about addressing it. You know, and you could talk about some of the results that happened out of this program, because this is just wrapped up, right? Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. yeah, and now's the time, now that it, the product's been released, so we can actually talk about what yes. was done in the CEI. <laughs> so it's a perfect time for us to go to customers, too, and say, look, you know, it was our participation and your participation in this that made this product as successful as it is. So. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I, mean, the, I mean, the two major enhancements that came out of there was the, uh, the import wizard and the improvement of the admin guide. I mean, that was really something that was so much needed, and yeah. people kept on saying, you know, this is not right, this is not right, you got to make our life easier. I thought. As a products progress, life was supposed to get easier, not harder. Uh -huh. And that's using those feedback from the customers and their pain points really helped with that. Well, and it, and it was a good way to, uh, being in the CEI, now that it's complete, we can actually go to them and say, hey, you remember this discussion we had? Here's what input you gave me, and oh, by the way, here it is in this new, pro new tool that, that SAP's released. So yeah. it brings that sense of ownership to the customer, not just of, hey, I bought this product, but hey, I've, I've invested in it Mentally, you know, I've, I actually help bring it along, and that CEI gives that opening for it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, 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 a, it's a really great thing now, because now that we actually have one very successful cycle, mm -hmm. I can go back to those customers and say, hey look, you remember participating in this? Mm -hmm. We have another program coming up, now what other things would you like to see? Yeah. Because you know what, SAP is listening to you. Right. I mean, they're not just taking it and putting it aside, they're actually listening to what you're saying. So give me your feedback, give me your pain points, and we'll take your top five pain points or top three and present it and let them know, see which one they want to concentrate and focus on. Well, and it's something too now that we can very, you know, concretely communicate the value to them because they want to know, well, what, what did I get for participation right. in that? And now I can say, well, look, th this new tool takes hours off of our configuration yeah. time. Mm -hmm. This it, it automates so much of this process, it makes it easier. And that's, you know, th this came out of, of the engagement. So, yeah, yeah it, you can be very concrete with how you communicate the value. Exactly. I mean, there was, there was extreme pain points of getting features or enhancements before a program like this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, this really makes life so much easier. So, the customer engagement initiative has filled the gap in their need for the customers to get the feedback in the future directions to the yeah. customers. Exactly. Exactly. Absolutely. And, and did you talk about the participation of the uh, customers and the partners? Uh, yes. Yeah, so, we have uh, five customers who participated in the CI and uh, five partners. So, it's a good balance. Yeah, and I also wanted to ask you about the benefits uh, the solution provided for you, like system configuration wizard itself. How does it help you? 
Uh, well, I mean, it helps reduce time greatly. I mean, like one of the things yeah. they were yeah. mentioning is like when you, as a integrator or infrastructure guy, you're doing it yourself. For you to write down and figure out how you're going to do this and do that and how to tweak it, I mean, by the time you figure it out, okay, it's time to go home. Well, with this, with a wizard, you just put in the sizes and select next, next, next. And once it's done, you're just going to do a little, little tweaking at the end and you're ready to go. So, I mean, what took you maybe, you know, six hours to yeah. do before, now you can get it done within an hour, you're ready to roll and you're in production. Yeah, so my, uh, my role in, in our company is specifically for the installation and configuration of uh, systems. So I'm out there installing, generally, I do eight to 10 installs a month, sometimes more, sometimes less, but that's the average. And when you figure in how much time it takes per system to split out, yeah the adaptive job server and the adaptive processing server, I mean, it, to me, it's okay, it gives me some of my time back, but it also means that I can go with that punch list that the customer has, and I can address more in a s shorter amount of time because, you know, they've saved me hours on end of sitting there creating new servers and trying to calculate out which ones I want and how do I want them configured. Yeah. Yeah. We found as a part of our standard build that, that used to take before this this tool, it would take longer to do the configuration after the install than the actual install took. So now that that's not the case anymore. And again, as, as a partner, as a consultant, it's better for us now to go to our, our customers and, and show them that reduction in time it takes yeah. for us to build a new system. I mean, again, that's that's a concrete uh, evidence of money being saved. You know, we're not yeah, yeah. charging them as many hours to yeah. do it. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it saves them time. And plus, right. this, this, this makes it a lot easier for the customers to take ownership. Mm -hmm. Because before, when you had to do the APS split, it, it had to be tweaked a certain way. Yep. Yeah. And customers weren't really comfortable with doing something like that. But now, if you do a proper knowledge transfer, while well, the customers, that's okay, I'm going to install my own development environment or my QA environment. Well, yeah, go ahead. You can do it. The wizard's there. So they need a little bit of guidance now they're feeling a lot better and they can do things themselves. Because a lot yeah. of times, I mean, companies want to start taking ownership. Mm -hmm. They don't want to be tied to a consulting company. Every time they do this, they got to call them in. Right. So they want to take ownership and want to be able to do these things themselves. Now they're more self-sufficient. So what was the time frame of this project from start to finish? Uh, uh, it was just a few months. It was, what, six, yeah, six, five, six months, yeah. I think it was like a six-month project yeah. and, I mean, we were initially, uh, I mean, Radim can correct me if I'm wrong, but we initially were looking to schedule two meetings per month. And sometimes, you know, depending on how the flow went or if people weren't able to get enough minimum participation, we would skip a month or only have one call per month. But even then, we were really progressing very well. I mean, we progressed so well that I think we finished a little ahead of schedule and we were able to fit yeah. in another item at the end, which was really good. Yes, the project started uh, in April, May, uh, May time, and uh, in September we presented it for the user testing at ASA conference, where about 20, 30 people uh, done hands-on testing and provided further feedback. And the uh, project was wrapped up in November, and now is included in 4.1 GA just a few days ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, yeah. would you encourage uh, you all encourage your customers to get involved in the next round? Oh, definitely. Definitely. <laughs> absolutely. Definitely. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, I mean, I would very easily, uh, the customers I had involved last time, right. it would be, e it'll, it'll be easier for me to get them to, to the next program because now they actually see what happened. Okay. But, you know, I can actually use examples of other customers when I go to other new customers. Yeah. Say, hey, look, you know what? ABC was in there. Why don't you guys come in? Because they also help. So if you want to see something or something's a pain point, you can actually influence it. Yeah, it, it's... Um Having a successful CEI like this, we've got a couple customers who are involved in CEIs because they've seen me doing it, and then they go, "Oh, it's not, it's not going to take up my entire day all day, all week long. It's just a couple hours twice a month." Um, they they approve that, but then you you have the successful CEI like this one, and now you can actually go out to your customers that are hesitant and say, "Look, here's what the results can be." And now they feel like, well, it didn't take much time and I can make a difference. And I think a lot of people really just want to make a difference with the right. product too. A task yeah. that was a one to, uh, an eight hour task is now down to a one hour task, oh, a yeah. eight hour task. Incredibly, yeah. It's, I it's always encourage big... customers too. You know, it's, it's, it's very easy to sit back and be critical of what comes out of SAP, you know, what the product that they get developed. Mm -hmm. So it's, here's a chance to go and be a part of and, and you know, 
have your opinion put into what's coming down the road. So absolutely, you know, it, and it doesn't take that much time, but it's to, it's very very worth it. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. I know that going into it, I was concerned because of my the hours I put out in the field, and I'm on the road most of the time. I was concerned about how much time is this can ta can ta going to take, and they definitely made me feel better about it. And they said, you know, no, it's only going to take a little bit amount of time. And I was by midpoint. I was kind of going, that's all we have to put in? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yes, like uh, projects like this, they really help to build products which is customer-driven, customer-centered, uh, with participation like you, with partners and customers, really help us to build the products which are good. Wonderful. Thank you for participation. Oh, thank you for inviting us. Yes, thank thank you, you guys all for coming up here, spending some time with ASUG News. Um, just as a reminder, the next customer engagement initiative starts April, uh, October 14th, and there's only a limited time to sign up for the topics that are available. It's about it's a four-week window, so it's a way for you guys to connect with your partner, your customers, uh, get the partners excited, and involved. That you obviously see there's great results oh, yeah. from participating. Oh, yeah, absolutely, for sure. <clears throat> so I, I look forward to you guys being on the next round of customer engagement initiative <laughs> beginning in October. Definitely. So we'll thank, you. thank you. Yeah, right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you from uh, that's that's the session from ASUG News.